Hey, what is up everyone? Today we're going to show you a self-defense technique using jiu-jitsu because in this video it's all about jiu-jitsu versus anybody. So what is the most common attack that you're going to get on the streets? Well, maybe somebody's going to be coming at you using punches or they're going to rush you. And if they do, this is what you're going to do. The guillotine choke. All right, so let's break this down. It's a very simple technique, but you have to understand the details. Let me break this down. Number one is the application. So how we're going to do this is we want to wrap the arm around the neck and I want to have the blade of the wrist underneath his chin. The thumb is going to be pointing up to the ceiling as such in front of my own stomach right here. Now, the opposite arm is going to grab your own wrist. So, I'm going to have the blade of the wrist against his neck. That's why it's called the guillotine. Now, what's very important here is when you do this, a lot of people will start to go up higher and they'll stretch towards the sky. But what happens now is you get higher and higher with the choke, but you're bringing the head up. What we want to do is keep the head down. The head stays down and you bring the choke up. All right, so this is what it's going to look like as we apply the choke. My shoulder is heavy, keeps his head down, sink in the choke. As I arch my back, his head stays exactly where it is, but he falls deeper and deeper into the guillotine choke. All right, so now the practical application of this in a real scenario might be something as such. I'm rushing in and what he's going to do is do a slight standing sprawl to get a nice base. Boom. And now he wraps my neck and watch this. Sinks it in, keeps the head exactly where it is, but sinks in the blade of the wrist for the guillotine. All right, so that's what makes the choke very effective. Now, let's talk about Common mistakes. Common mistakes, well, we talked about the people trying to raise the head up. We try to go up, but we bring the head up. We want to keep the head down as we arch getting to a good base. Another thing is having a very narrow stance with your feet. So I'm doing the guillotine, but watch my feet. They're stuck together as such. A very common mistake. So you want to fall into a base, always into a nice base. Now I have a lot of bridging power to do the arch. That's another thing. And Sometimes what will happen is as you're connecting the technique, you might get someone who, you know, is just resisting that technique. So bringing the person onto the ground to finalize the position. Okay, so it's going to look like this. As I'm going in for the choke, I'm having a hard time here. So what I'm going to do is bring my feet in closer, have a seat, and now wrap my legs around his back. From here, I'm going to arch and sink the choke. What's very important now is to always ensure you have the closed guard tight around the waist and your knees are pinching the body. Now if I don't do this correctly, what will happen from here is people lock the guard but they lock here. Too low on the waist. This gives him plenty and ample space to start going up on his feet and popping out to escape the choke. So now Alex is going to demo the technique once again. I tackle he gets the choke and finalizes one and goes to the guard. All right, so one more situation might be this. We're tangled up and I'm in a clinching position right here. I have double unders, what we call in jiu-jitsu, double under hooks. But now the person will start to frame and push my hips away. Now I'm losing control. So from here, I let go one, wrap it here, bring it tight, and I'm back to... The same choke we just did, okay? Let's take a look from another angle. So as you clinched up, you're trying to fight, trying to control the opponent from here. It's very aggressive. He's gonna start to fight out. Take it out here, bring it down, back into the same choke we did from the beginning in this video. So guys, this is a very common attack. You'll see this in mixed martial arts. I do wanna use caution if you are gonna Go to the guard with this type of technique. Don't forget, we're talking about self-defense. Usually when you see this on TV, you'll see guys jumping the guard 
to get the guillotine. But that is fine because they have a matted surface like we do in this dojo. On the street, you have asphalt. So if you are to jump the guard, you'll fall on your head or onto your back and possibly injure your own self. So what we want to do is just step it in, have a seat into the guard as we just showed. So guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. Leave us a like. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe for more content just like this one. Let us know what you'd like to see. Jiu-Jitsu, Muay Thai, self-defense, whatever it is. More guillotine attacks. Let us know. We'll make a video on it. Until next time. See you guys in the next video. Take care. Ha, ha, ha.